家好，我叫陈曦，我来自中国的大西南。嗯、呃，我所在的城市叫重庆。嗯、呃，我在那里出生，在那里长大，啊、呃，一共十六年，我待在重重庆，啊、呃，十六岁的时候，我去了我们我的国家的首都，在北京学习，啊、呃，我，嗯、呃，后来又得到一些机会去莫斯科，然后那边回来，从莫斯科回来以后，我移居到美国进修博士，在那边，在美国一共八年半，今年一月六号，我从。呃，南卡罗来纳州，<笑>谢谢谢谢。今年一月六号，我从南卡罗来纳州飞到科索沃，啊、呃，我在这里为科索沃啊、呃、联合国驻驻科索沃特派团工作，我到科索沃已经五个月了，嗯、呃，在这里我看到了科索沃整个社会这个整个地区它的社会的变化，嗯、呃，就好像我们这个。今天的主题所讲的一样，这些变化已经发生了，他们正在改变着我们的生活。但是这些变化能够给我们带带来什么样的未来，是一个很值得探讨的问题。我看到在科索沃有同样这样的变化，同样在我的国家，在中国，在这过去的三十年之间，巨大的变化已经产生了。它正在改变着整个中国人民的生活，同时它的影响。也正也正在改变整个世界，嗯、呃，我想说的是，这样巨大的变化，给我们所带来的是希望，也是一个美好的未来。然而，怎样利用这些变化，利用这些，嗯、呃，各种各样的不同的人之间的交流而产生的各种各样的理念，把我们带到一个更加和平而和谐的明天，是一个非常值得我们探讨的问题。然后，我很有幸。被邀请到今天的呃现场，然后为大家讲述一个这么小小的故事。Thank you。Uh, I want to thank you、uh, to my friend, and、uh, I would like to speak、uh, today about the. Especially of、uh, understanding, misunderstanding, not understanding, and、uh, how today this imply towards we live today in this our society, especially how this inflict thanks to we live how we live today in this modern、uh, world. Well, first、uh, I use the art for my uh, for my、um, my making the same question. And even I don't understand what I have to speak today and what I will do. But the most important things is that the action itself that don't need justification, because sometimes talk is cheap. But the most important thing is when the experience we, we certain times happen and we share, and how we can、uh, bring to different experience and different platform. Now we live in the society where. Usually, we have、uh, we live between、uh, forced illegality and the forced legality, and today Kosovo is going through in any society that is in process of being of so-called civil society.、Uh, when I speak about that, I talk about illegal、so、illegal action itself, how this can help the legal actions, the legal forms, because they raise the question, and how. The raising the question is very important because it brings the platform of debate, and how、uh, stupidity or idiotism itself can bring high quality into the things that can be so irrational, and how the irras irrationality can push the new tendency, and especially they can bring new quality. Now,、uh, of course, we in Kosovo, and I believe in any, even in Western world. We、uh, we we ask ourselves what we are, and but the, our being it always proves but what we do. So、uh, being not too much theoretical,、uh, today we question ourselves our collective national identity and how we what actually being part of this society. What does mean identity? So、uh, I believe that identity itself today. It's always in mutation, 
and this building hybrid strategy in consciously and how we practice the, the philosophy of betrayed and how this betrayed become quality of adapting to the time how we live today because to be betrayed yourself is just to adapt and to invent your own time in this in this in this place where we live today and even in, in this our world and this i believe creativity can help so much even political field in economy in um, in social and how can we use creativity uh, to build things that can make so diverse and how this uh, diverse can through production, especially with uh, products, can bring the base of national distinctiveness with competition. And how this competition become more struggle with yourself. So, now, uh, starting about myself, I'm born here in Kosovo. And um, as a child, I understood that the resistance, it's, resistance is very important. Because, uh, because resistance is something that you resist, uh, we resist of the cu tradition culture and how this tradition culture become something organic, something that move. And so taking that quality of mentality itself, how we can build something different without rejection. Because the, the biggest strength of this society, especially in this world, and how we can use this as a heritage of not practicing the culture of prostitution, being dressed as a diesel or Giorgio Armani that can make us, we feel free, but how we can invent our Giorgio Armani and how we can invent our dress and how we can prove our practice of freedom through this, that we can actually use this consumerism as an as aspect that we today are dictated. Because today the freedom is dictated through the consume, consume aspect of all modern society. So we live in ideology of consumism. Consumerism means especially you produce to live. And therefore, how can we being in, 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 in one, let's say drinking one bottle of water, how can we question the design? How can this extra value in that design can make, make so different from the design of other bottles of the water? And how can I be proud about the design because that is my face, this is my mirror. And how the creativity and art can help so much this to move on and we to be pride rather than the word, rather than to use kind of pathetic nationalism itself, but how can we show things through the different means? Okay, uh, so the mentality. The mentality is a very important heritage and what we should be proud of it. But how this mentality should, uh, how can I say the talent of individual talent using this quality of mentality can make something that we can live in this time proving and inventing. When I talk about our time, I'm talking about how that can be a reflection of this time. Today's challenge, and especially the challenge if you to be said, here I am, here I live, and here I breathe. But without talking, because sometimes talk is just cheap. Of course, we, uh, we have incredible unemployment here in Kosovo. We have amazing quality of young people. But unfortunately, uh, we live in, the, in a such place that, as, 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 as one of the speakers before spoke about being victim. And how can we become as victim of time and how we should be passive? Statically, don't move. So theoretically speaking, how we can build this culture of tables, of consuming ideas, especially in the table, but we can build something magic towards that. It's, in, it's impossible we to think of making things to make change in this society, so-called revolution, without we revolutionize ourselves. We should think from ourselves. What you personally can do this in this certain time and this a certain place. We live in the culture with prejudice. We think others how they look like, how they're beautiful, which kind of glasses they use, how they walk. So we think for others, but we don't think how to question ourselves, especially when it comes with our incapacity to deal with the very important issues of conscience, of dealing with things that is injustice, which is the silence become the biggest enemy of this time. So of course, we can say, 
there is a corruption, but the corruption is in the United States too. Corruption is in the in Western world. Corruption is nothing, is the present, is there. But how can we deal with, with this phenomena? It's a big question. Of course, the role of journalists is to highlight with this with the questions, especially to highlight the disease of collectiveness disease. But biggest problem is come from ourselves, our passivity, how to deal with this phenomena. So why I'm saying all this is just because I would like to combine all this and to see how we can really try to do something tradition into something more, uh, more organic and moving things through breaking, breaking through some value that we believe we should proud, be proud rather than showing, saying, but proving. How can we have responsibility towards the generation who come, our children who are born, and which kind of space and room we live to build the, the education through our own mentality, the economy through our own quality, individual quality, and, and how this culture can mutate into something magic. Why we personally, I think, and not in the field of the art, but I believe in the field of economy and field in politics, we try always to resemble, to try to see how we can take from others and to adapt in our way of living and our behavior. It's a big problem because it's a lack of talk, lack of conversation, lack of exchange of opinions, lack of, because this is exactly of misunderstanding ourselves and how today we proved what without understanding nothing means something. So how passively can react things like object that today we have and aesthetically disgusting or aesthetically beautiful, how that disgusting can bring some maybe question to our today living and the values. So why I'm saying all this, and uh, I believe it's uh, very important that we today talk about how uh, especially to think is so difficult, but even to look is difficult. So it's not easy just to think to difficult, but to look is so difficult because looking sometimes can put in question what does really mean this? If the sense of touching can make some, something that I trans take this, ex this experience and bring to something else. Because I don't believe that our society is idiotic society that we don't think, we don't have feelings, we, we, don't, we cannot have anything that we can really be proud of something in music, in poetry. Why is this mediocrity that is taking power? So it's a big question. It's a big question, especially from who think that thinking making revolution itself don't revolution himself. Because in the end, it's something problem when I wake up in the morning and my philosophy of my life, ideology of my life, end up when my daughter asks for the milk. She says, Baba, I want milk. I want to drink milk. So that my philosophy of my life my ideology end up there, of milk six o'clock in the morning. So it's tough, it's a tough question, but we are here to get together, not only to share my thoughts and my experience, but I believe with all the experience of all we have here to take of something that we fight. Fight first against ourselves, against ourselves, against myself, and against of something that we believe it's static something that don't move. We should think things to move, move, move. When we move things, we move with the time, we move the head, we move the design or any kind of climate that we can build together, and especially in towards things that can make change into the small things, from education to the, to the economy, to the politic, and to the everyday living. Now, to the end of the thing, I would like just to end with small thing that I try to take of, uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of the words of uh, one of the, my, my uh, prefer and special, special uh, writer, and is an Italian one. It's called Giac Giacomo Leopardi. But now I will read in Italian. I believe lots of here I just will not understand. Same as couldn't understand my dear friend. Uh, io ero spaventato nel ritrovarmi in mezzo al nulla, nulla io medesimo, io mi sentivo come soffocare, considerando sentendo che tutto è nulla, 
solito nulla. I'll, I'll this translate in English. And um, I was frightened to find myself in the void. I myself avoid. I felt like I was suffocating, considering and feeling that everything is void. Solid void. Thank you.